isn't the only season we're dealing with right now. Yeah, many of you are fighting allergies, temperature, humidity, rain, and wind, all factors that play into pollen concentrations. Storm Tracker 13's Jason Laird is finding out how the body reacts to these pesky pollens. Nearly all of us have been there. You walk outside, and next thing you know, your eyes are watering, nose is running. So like many of you out there, I've been sniffly and sneezy over the past few days. So I'm getting tested as we speak for allergies, and it's not nearly as bad of a process as what I thought. It only takes about 15, 20 minutes to get the results back, so we'll see what happens. My results showed reaction to Rocky Mountain juniper, a pretty common problem here in southern Colorado. So you have a very unique species of tree here, the Rocky Mountain juniper, and it is the most prevalent pollinator here, and it's very high. What is it with pollens that cause the body to react the way it does? If you have an allergy, that means you have an antibody. It's on the cell and it's waiting, and if it sees its allergen, it will activate basically, and release sacks of chemicals that have already been formed and are just sitting there waiting. The release of these chemicals is what causes a variety of symptoms related to allergies. Colorado weather is the key player when it comes to allergies here in the state. Overly dry and windy conditions stir up pollens, making for a stuffy spring season. In Colorado Springs, Jason Laird, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Jason. An estimated 50 million Americans suffer from seasonal allergies. Mm -hmm. The most common allergies are things like grass, pollen, trees, and mold. I know. I've been sneezing a lot lately. Yeah. yeah, that Rocky Mountain juniper. Maybe that's what it is. I should go get tested. There's something out there, though. Mm -hmm. I think it's trees today, isn't it, Rachel? That's the big one. Yeah.